and this is just how impressive Jack is out here. Um, for me, looking at the screen, it kind of just looked like a TP wave, and he was just somehow eyeing it out that barrel. Quarterfinal four, starting now, Italo and Jack fighting for position and throwing himself over the falls. Late decision for Jack. And starts off with a fade. Already running through this inside track. Armbar to slow down to pull into the pit. Jack Robinson makes his way out. An absolute magician when it comes to barrel riding. And as you see it right here, kind of looked like a TP wave, like almost wasn't going to give that good of an opportunity, but he just sees it way down there, what's going to happen. Set up carve, and now he starts to wind it down. Now he stalls and gets just beautifully covered. So deep, going through the fumble. You couldn't see him from the side angle, which that just show how deep he was. And kind of a very critical takeoff as well. Are you allowed to take off like that? How hard was that to accomplish? Yeah, it's crazy when you're paddling up the face and you kind of just whip your board under. And as you see right here, pulling in. Look how deep he is right there. He disappears, almost disappeared from the channel angle. That's crazy how deep he got on that. Um, on that barrel, he moved his foot very forward, so he was very stable on his board. And he's a big kid, so he's able to muscle through the foam ball. And right there, just right in the foam ball, 100% feeling. Abbott pipeline, it could be right here at sunset. Late behind him is Italo, as he will now set that rail into the pocket. Now looking for something big, as he heard the crowd go nuts for Jack. There he is, right off the top, real critical, hard landing. And this heat is on. Joe Turpel with Jesse Mendez for the call. Jesse on the CT in the past, a Triple Crown champ. We've been watching these guys for a long time. This is still the same wave, by the way. Italo never kicks out, even knifed the finish as he's setting up the ride from the Hawaiian Water Patrol. Possibly B. Jack does it all the time. And what about Italo's start? As much as I think Italo's wave is going to come under, I think it was very smart of him to actually pull that off. Like, just a setup similar to Jack's, but right here, huge, massive turn, getting a good release on the tail. And right now you think, oh, he's done. He's just going to go straight to the ski. But he's usually surprising people in everything he does. Like, it's pretty impressive. He gets in the inside and does another big turn. But check this one out. Like, very critical. Get three fins above the back, which is very hard to control. Good landing right there, just stocky, like it didn't even phase him that landing. That was very hard to do it, and it seemed like it was just another normal turn, uh, turn a rocky point or something. Oh, totally. This guy surfs so hard, has different lines, a lot of things going on there. As Jack's up again, big sweeping bottom turn, throws down the arc. Nice patience in between sections as well. Leading with the upper body on that last turn, and he will. Hit the lift, awkward position, but he's been pulling these off all event. That one will get the best of him. The Red Bull ski on the way back out. Here we go, Jesse. Yeah, beautiful first carve right here for Jack on rail, just solid. Um, the board was just relaying. He was relaying 100% on the rail the whole time, once again, but just right here, a little bit late, so he had to kind of put sideways, and the landing just gets very tricky when that happens, as, as you see. And now this will make it honest now whoever wins this will take the lead in their one-on-one -on -one history jack now sets up a nice hook and over the falls that was that was trippy you never expect that would happen but since it just throwing some wild cards at you um italo has priority here jack right behind him watching him take off just needs a 5.11 for a lead change there's that first turn kind of that carve Throws it up a bit more of a hack there and nice two turn combination, hitting it with speed and throwing some variety out there as well. Pulled that first car short to be able to get there and throw more vertical, surfing into the second section. And wow, you can never stop watching Italo. Doesn't like to kick out early and tries to stomp one in the flats. He'll lose that finish, but he'll probably take the lead. It was kind of obvious that he was going to get. And as you see right here, beautiful wave selection from him. Lost it a little bit, but still very powerful turn. And right here, that was money just under the lip, very critical, bringing the board under his chest. And as you see it, he connected once again. He was going to finish it off with an exclamation point. For final number four continues with a peak popping up. Jack Robinson pulls up and under. Comes flying out of the barrel once again and nails it off the top. Robbo looking for another big section. Drills it. 
he, I knew he was gonna pull in, but it was such a huge risk. And then the wave just lit, lit up like a light bulb and the whole thing blew up into a, a massive bubble and just he just weaved right through it. As he came out, he just had the fist pump. You know, you could see him feeling it. And then on the way back out, he was paddling. You could see him trying to calm himself down, go into Zen mode, and it was a beautiful thing. So it was incredible surfing. Obviously, Italo not out of it ever. I mean, the guy's an animal. Reynos in his corner, he's on that 6'5", he's just telling him, you're gonna need another eight, you're gonna need another big score. Yelled at him to get back out there and go for it. Sets are on the horizon. Thank you, Hawaii. This is why we're here. This is why we're here, Was One more angle deep on the peak, Jesse. Positioning right there, way behind a TP. And as you see, he's just like, I need to really move forward because this is very critical how backdooring he is on that, um, on that wave. And, Feet on the front, as usual, for those surfers when they're riding a tube ride. And right here, he already knew he had 80% of the job done. He just needed to be critical, but not over-pushing it. So he would just finish that wave and get a massive score. As you see, a second turn, nice and big. And right here, just laying it back. Not He could have been more critical, but he held it back. But What a TPE to low behind him. Already with a ton of speed, well overhead on the face as he will just run out of room and kick out. Holy smokes. You've ever seen out of here a sunset, mostly with this wind blowing that strong of an offshore and he's up and riding. It just doesn't happen. Let's see if he can pull it off though. It is Italo as he's up now looking for a 9.28. There's the snap to start. Looked like he was thinking about that maneuver and just got clipped and awkward wipeout that actually broke. The 6.5 and half at 9.77 and a 7.6, giving us quite a show. That 7.6 on the start of the heat, almost going over the falls of the lip line and getting barreled. And then getting a better barrel, and his wife Julia absolutely loves it.